Now we're on to our first performer of the evening, Giles Mitokomus Banawe, Anishinaabe Tiskali Meti, is of Odawa. Potawatomi, Cherokee, European, and Métis descent. His paternal ancestors are from northern Michigan, as his Métis forefathers migrated to the region after arriving to Halifax from Scotland. A descendant of women from three indigenous nations, French and Scottish voyageurs, and original Mayflower immigrants, he represents a unique voice in the field of indigenous writing. An emerging queer, two-spirited poet, he has often been described as the spiritual love child of Truman Capote and Thompson Highway. <laughs> His poetry can be found in First Nations House Magazine, Muskrat Magazine, Prairie Fire, Matrix Magazine, and scrawled within bathroom stalls at truck stops across Ontario. <laughs> Born and raised in Huron County, he currently lives in Toronto. He spends his time working on his second poetry collection and a young adult novel about a teenaged gay aboriginal werewolf with Asperger's syndrome. <laughs> that sounds like a must read. <laughs> His first collection of poetry, Ceremonies for the Dead, is published by Kegadon's Press, which is a local press, a very important press in the indigenous uh, publishing field. Ceremonies for the Dead examines the haunting themes of intergenerational trauma, cyclical abuse, and inherited grief. Four generations of the dead take turns narrating these themes, navigating from the Great Lakes through the Appalachian Mountains and examining the fur trade, an exile from Minnesota, the experiences of West Virginia coal miners, and the legacy of mission schools. Black humor and satire fill the collection, illuminating a fierce determination to survive and resist colonization, and the endurance of culture and identity under extreme duress. Please welcome to the Words Aloud stage, Giles Benawe.